we shall continue with uh, our discussion on investing in shares of listed companies and uh, in this context we already started looking into some basic principles of investing in stocks and shares in the previous model module we we had a reference to different methodologies adopted by a number of players in islamic banking and finance and outside it to invest or to pick up shares and stock of listed companies these uh, companies they come from the west as well as from the muslim world there were a number of methodologies we listed at the end of the last module we said s&p dow jones methodology we refer to footsie methodology we refer to msci methodology we refer to a methodology used by securities commission malaysia and of course there was a reference to a methodology adopted by pakistan stock exchange and at the end we said that there are guidelines issued by aofi accounting and auditing organization for islamic financial institutions to invest in stock and shares in this module given that we have a very short period of time available we would be picking up two of these methodologies to exemplify what is there in those methodologies remember we said there are two types of screens used by the players to pick up stock for stock picking in a sharia compliant way one is a business screen the other one is a financial screen business screen is applied before the financial screen the objective of business screen is to make sure that the company is involved in halal activity when we are referring to these methodologies over here by dow jones by msci and so on we are referring to the second screen called financial screen now number 1 in case of s&p dow jones financial screening methodology number 1 screen is interest bearing debt divided by market capitalization of the company should be less than or equal to 33% so this is screen number 1 under financial screen number 2 cash plus interest bearing securities divided by market capitalization of the company should not exceed 33% number 3 accounts receivable divided by market capitalization of the company should not exceed 49 or should be less than or equal to so it should not exceed 49% so these are three screens 33% 33% 49% what does this mean mote alfaz mein ye hai debt equity ratio should not exceed 1/3 33% roughly cash held by the company plus interest bearing investments of this company divided by the equity the market capitalization of the company should not be more than 1/3 and accounts receivables what are accounts receivables debt owed to the company should not be more than 49% of the market capitalization so this is a very simple sharia screening methodology on the financial side when it comes to income non permissible income other than interest divided by total revenue should be less than or equal to 5% so if we find this company is listed on the stock exchange it's a very good company from investment view point it fulfills all the three uh, screens criteria however we find that 
the income generated by this company from non halal sources is 20 percent we would not deem this as a sharia compliant company for a company or a stock to be deemed as sharia compliant its non permissible income should be less than 5 percent of the total so this is called income screen let's go to msci islamic index methodology all these methodologies they seem similar there are some minor differences between them or amongst them in the in case of msci islamic methodology and by the way msci has got two methodologies we'll see the other one total debt divided by total assets should be less than or equal to 33.33 percent remember in case of dow jones snp dow jones methodology the denominator in the ratios was market capitalization in this case it says total debt divided by total assets should not exceed one third second one says cash plus interest bearing securities divided by again total assets should be less than or equal to which means should not exceed 33.33%. In this case, it's a receivable plus cash. So there is a slight difference between the this one and the SP Dow Jones. Divided by total assets should be less than or equal to 33%. So this methodology is asset, total asset based. Sometimes we call it this methodology is actually total assets denominated and there are differences some people say it's 33 percent 33.33 percent and then we have this one the the last one 33.33 percent in case of s p and dow jones this is 49 percent or they're more or less the same they look more or less the same but when you apply these uh, uh, screens to actual stock you will get sometimes completely different results. Now, MSCI Islamic Index methodology, uh, there is another one, it's called M series. MSCI found out that quite a number of their clients would actually ask for SP Dow Jones methodology to be used by them. So, they found out that quite a number of their clients, quite a number of their Islamic fund manager clients they would have subscription to their methodology as well as the methodology of snp dow jones so they would be paying to msci for the services rendered from it and of course they will have to go to snp dow jones to buy their license for using the data related with that methodology so M series actually came up with a methodology which is quite similar to the methodology of uh, S&P Dow Jones. So here, total debt divided by average market capitalization should be less than or equal to 33.33 percent. So the difference, minor difference in this case is it's 33.33 percent. Okay there in case of dow jones and snp this was 33 percent cash plus interest bearing securities divided by average market cap should be less than or equal to 33.33 percent receivables plus cash this is a difference from snp dow jones as well there they use only receivables so receivables plus cash divided by market capitalization should be less than or equal to 49 percent so out of five six methodologies we listed at the end of the last module we have picked up two or two and a half if we consider m series a separate one as well methodologies to let you know 
what is the focus of these financial screens. So, a stock would be deemed Sharia compliant if it fulfills business screen criteria, i.e., the company is not involved in a haram activity as its principal primary business, and if, in general, debt equity ratio doesn't exceed 33%. Cash plus interest bearing securities divided by market cap shouldn't exceed 33%. And if receivables as percentage of market cap should not be the majority, i.e., it should not exceed 49%. The, these screens would or the numbers would remain more or less the same whether the methodology is denominated by market capitalization or by total assets.